Okay, so uh, a little while back, Chris Schmidt taught us how to make a hydraulic arm in Cinema 4D. Um, a combination of his tutorial and a presentation at NAB. Um, those two, uh, one of the gentlemen used a robotic arm in his piece and kind of explained a little bit about it. Those two pieces kind of got me inspired to start working on something. And then over at the Pixel Lab, uh, he's done a contest. So all those things have kind of uh, got me rolling on this. I like working with dynamics in Cinema 4D and making things um, happen and interact. So uh, I learned a lot while doing this and uh, I just kind of want to share. So check out uh, part one and part two of the Grayscale Gorilla Hydraulic Arm in Cinema 4D. Uh, Chris does a, a really excellent job of uh, rigging using the uh, joint tool. Um, he makes a rig to operate his arm and then he uses uh, he makes the hydraulics in part two. So um, I will be going over some of that. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to make a tutorial of his tutorial, but uh, there were a few things that I got snagged up on. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, here is my robot arm. Now, I did my arm a little bit differently. I didn't use IK and a rig for mine. Um, I'm controlling mine with Espresso, and uh, I did use the IK for the claw, so I'm going to go into uh, a little bit about that, uh, and I had to learn a little bit and get used to the constraint tag. Let's just watch this animation real quick. Um, I went ahead and made a transparent material for this cube. I added soft dynamics to it. You can see when the claw grabs a hold of it, it kind of squishes it a little bit. Um, right about here, kind of squishes the the box of balls that it's picking up. And uh, the robot arm comes down and picks that up. So that's what I like doing is is uh, creating something that's real um, or recreating something, uh, you know, like a factory robot arm that's used in manufacturing or something um, but then throwing on kind of you know an artistic flair to it I don't think you'd ever see a, such a nice looking robot arm in a factory but then again maybe so um, that's this animation let me just uh, let me see here so what I've done is I've used Espresso and I've rigged it up so that part of the arm can bend this way. And this area here I'm calling the knuckle. So the knuckle bend um, can go back and forth like that. Um, and then I have my claw can go, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here on the claw. Get it out of that box maybe. So the claw, the little pads can go in and out, so it can kind of give it a little different reach. And then also the <clears throat> claw opens and closes. Now these pads right here, um, I really wanted them to be straight. Um, I really wanted them to stay kind of flat. And I had a problem doing that. Uh, so we'll we'll kind of go over how I worked around that and uh, what I learned about the constraint tag. Um, what's keeping them in this position is the constraint tag uh, pointing at what they need to. Now these claws are actually clones. Um, I used the MoGraph cloner object and basically I built one and I used the cloner in the radial and I 
cloned, I think we got five or six on there, one, two, three, four, five, five uh, clones. And uh, so that worked out really well for the claw. I looked at some different designs. I um, looked at modeling different things. The traditional uh, robot arm claw looked pretty intriguing and I do want to to look at maybe working on something like that and uh, using the dynamics to make that so uh, there's we're gonna model this um, we're going to use some espresso and it's really very simple espresso uh, let's see let's find my controller here and what I did on the controller, it's just a null object that I added some user data. Um, and we've got two user data that are using the degree uh, for the degree of rotation on the uh, null objects. And then we've got the claw is using the real value of my goal for the uh, IK chain. So what it's doing is is it's moving it uh, in the Z position and the Y position and the goal moving in those different directions will either open the claw or move the the claw pads in and out. So uh, stay tuned we're we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this. Um, I did enter this model into the Pixel Lab uh, modeling contest. Maybe uh, it's probably going to be over by the time I get this finished and, and up on my site. But uh, maybe you'll see this claw before you even see it in this tutorial. So stick around. We'll, uh, we'll be examining the modeling process, the Espresso, a little bit of IK. All right.